the pickup truck, once the vehicle of choice for the hard-working blue-collared American worker, today is a symbol of the American lifestyle. This is the highest selling category of vehicles in America and as a result has seen innovations unlike any other. And as they say here, <clears throat> ain't nothing like a GMC. <laughs> Hey, well, Glenn, it's not just America which is seeing the pickup truck transition from utilitarian to lifestyle. Isuzu is trying to do the same over here in India. But moving back to the Sierra. Boy, what a machine. Take a good look. It almost made Glenn look like a dwarf. And Glenn is... Sorry, Glenn. And why not? Because after all, GMC Sierra spans over 21 feet in length and six and a half foot in height. But it's not just the dimensions which give it the intimidating look that it has, be it the boxy design or the bold chrome grille or the muscular body lines or the raised bonnet. Everything about the Sierra commands road presence. Now, there's also a lot more than pure muscle out here. There are small and subtle design cues like those LED headlamps and 20 inch polished aluminum wheels, which give the Sierra a very premium and upmarket feel. Now the Sierra also comes in different trims of course. On the top of the hierarchy is the Denali. It is the most sophisticated and most expensive GMC Sierra you can buy. Under it sits the 84 and then you have the Elevation. Now the Denali and the 84 get that fancy multi-pro tailgate system which makes it very convenient to load and unload luggage onto the luggage bay. It is about 5 feet 8 inches long which means it can easily double up as a bed for Glenn over there. <laughs> Sorry Glenn once again. There's also a 120 volt power outlet and cargo tie down anchors to make it more practical. Inside the Denali you sit high with a commanding position off the road. You even get premium interiors, creature comforts and safety features which you would usually find in luxury sedans. The Denali even gets leather upholstery. But the most intimidating thing about the Sierra has to be its exhaust note and that's because it gets a V8 engine under the hood. Actually there are multiple options that you can go for. On the top is the 6.2 litre V8 which pumps 420 horses, 624 newton meters of torque which is there. But this one is paired to 10 speed automatic gearbox. Below it is a 5.3 litre V8 which develops 355 horses, 518 newton meters of torque which is here and is mated to an 8 speed auto box. There's also an option for our diesel Duramax V8 in the heavy duty variant which displaces then 6.6 .6 liters. It develops 445 horses and uh, wait for it and have a seat. I hope you're seated because that develops 1,234 Newton meters of torque. But if you want something subtle, you can always go for the 4.3 litre V6 or a 2.7 litre inline 4. That sounds so puny after having spoken all these big numbers. I wish I could sign off on an optimistic note, but the lifestyle truck segment in India still is in such a nascent phase and possibly is never gonna come here. I'm signing off for now because I'm rambling about because I want these trucks to be here in India. Stay tuned for more of our coverage of the North American International Auto Show and it's the same as Detroit Auto Show straight from Detroit. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I forgot to mention we also have a contest running that lets you win a fresh set of Michelin tires. All you have to tell is which of the features of the GMC Sierra impressed you the most and put it down in the comment section below. One lucky winner stands to win those Michelin tires. Goodbye, I'm rambling. Ciao.